Big Brother, turn on the TV. What for? I want to see my favorite show. What's that? Good evening. Tonight we are to meet a man who is a renowned playwright, Shakespeare. He is now writing what will be one of his most famous plays, Romeo and Juliet, the year 1595, and you were there. You the right to speak up in a man in his own study. Sorry if I disturb you, but I'm here on the part of the viewers. What? what? You are? The only viewers I know are the ones that see my play, and I haven't sold a play in three months. Well, let's just say some people, you know how famous they'll be. Oh, well, in that case, what would you like to know? Hmm. Oh, uh, there's a new play coming. You know, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, oh, that bummer. You can't mean that. Such a finely written play. What finely written play? I haven't even finished it yet. Oops. Well, uh, is it not true that the story itself is not your own, but one by an Italian novelist, the novel of Juliet? Uh, well, uh, yes, but uh, could you not let it get out? Uh, it could be very embarrassing. So I think I'd better tell you the, what the differences are between our two plays. See, the first part is that Juliet sees Romeo. I thought I'd change that around a little. Oh, yes. And in the play, Juliet is 13 instead of 16, so she appeal more to the younger generation. And the balcony scene. I changed that so that it happened all at once instead of a long time. Isn't that amazing how much you can change a story when you really get into it? Oh, yeah. Romeo, Romeo, where for art thou, Romeo? Why oh. I wait? I hear more on a very stupid Oh. Seen that if my enemy be some other name, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Ah! Uh. Oh, kiss me at thy word. Yes, I shall never do Romeo. I know not how to tell you who I am. But if you knew what I was doing, if I didn't know what I was doing. How the balcony scene should have been written. Uh, right, uh, now do you want to hear the death scene? Uh, okay. Well, I thought Juliet should be in the family tomb. And then Romeo came along, seeing her, thought she was dead, killed himself. To continue. Poison my face, I'll be at a time left. You were kind of a clutch. The only thing I'm trying to figure out now is, should I have a kiss up me in? It's a tragedy, isn't it? Well, yes. Why are you trying to write a comedy? Well, I enjoy writing comedies. I bet if you wrote it as a tragedy, it would go over bigger. Hmm. That sounds like a good idea. Well, um, I think this thing... Is well, that's all from the study. Oh, William Shakespeare. Yeah, that's, that's Back right, to Walter yeah. Pondyce. It was a day like any other day, except you were there. <laughs> this is a William Shakespeare and Romeo played by Doug Fox. Plus the reporter and Walter Pondyce done by Billy Fiorito. You sit on the piano... And the book is doing it by Art Cusick. Sorry, it was fun. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Mark, let's give me a little more piano. Hey, look at me. Hey, Mark, let's give me a little more piano. Hey, look at me. Hey, Mark, let's give me a little more piano. Hey, look at me. Hey, Mark, let's give me a little more piano. 